Hello everyone, welcome to the extremewebdesigns.com and this is Rocky. In this video, I'll show you how to get the file names of all the files in a folder and also the subfolders. The interesting part is that we'll also be able to get the names of all the hidden files and the read-only files as well, which you would normally not be able to get. So, for this purpose, I have prepared a test folder on my desktop that actually has a bunch of files and folders which could also be called as subfolders of this parent test folder. And it starts with this hidden folder which contains a hidden file. Now, it's the file is not visible because it's hidden, but I would like to show you that first. I like to change the options to show the hidden file. And as you can see here, the hidden file has this attribute set as hidden. That's why it wasn't visible. Now, let's move on and let me show you the read-only folder which has a read-only file with the attribute read-only. All right. So now, moving on, subfolder 1 has three rich text files and subfolder 2 has a couple of other files and then there are other files in the parent folder. So now, I have also prepared a PowerPoint presentation with different slides that actually show you different commands that you can actually run to get the desired output. And just so that you know, each slide is numbered, so you can look at the number here in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And the first part here, as highlighted by the cursor, this top section is the heading which actually tells you what you can actually do here or achieve using the command as shown here. And side notes are included here which give you more information about the output that you'll get by running this command. Okay, so there are essentially two parts to this. One is to run the commands in command prompt and the second part is to actually copy the values into an Excel spreadsheet and then remove the locations which get prepended to the file names. So let's see how to do this in each case. So let's start with this use case and let's show all the file names in a folder and subfolders including the folder names and the subfolder names. So for this purpose uh, let's navigate to the test folder in command prompt. Press the Windows and the R keys on the keyboard and enter cmd.exe which will launch the command prompt and click on OK. Now I'm going to navigate to my test folder. All right. So here, let me just adjust my screens. All right. So let me show list of files here from all the folders including the subfolders as you can see the first three files as shown here are the ones that can be seen here now the name hidden corresponds to the hidden folder here then followed by the read only which is here and subfolder one and two which are the subfolder 1 and 2 over here. Now, read-only file.txt is the content of this folder. And then 1, 2, and 3 are the contents of this folder, subfolder 1. And then the sub4.txt and sub5.xlxs are the contents of this file. So, in this one, what is really missing is the file name for the hidden file.txt. Now this command which is shown here does not show the name of this hidden file. There is a different command to show that which I'll get to in the next slide but just know that if you want to skip showing the hidden file name and just if you're good with showing the rest of the file names and the folder names then you can use this command. Alright so here in the next slide, we can show all the file names in a folder and subfolders including the hidden files using this command. So let's see how to do that.
All right. So if you notice, we have the file name hidden file.txt. Just about the read only file.txt. But whereas in this case, you can see that it's missing here. So this is the command that you need to run. So it's easy, guys. So just read this text, which shows what you can do or what you can achieve by running this command over here. And these are the side notes. All right. So likewise, let's look at the third one. This command here actually shows you the list of all file names in a folder and subfolders, excluding the hidden files. So let's see that in command prompt. So as can be seen here, the hidden file name which is visible over here is not visible anymore over here. So that's one way to get rid of that. So let's move on to the next slide. So this command actually shows you all file names in a folder and subfolders excluding read-only files, which means that in the list, you won't have the list of file names that are read-only. So let's see how that's going to work. All right. So here is the read-only file.txt in our previous command. But in this specific command, we don't have it. We have the hidden file. .txt, but not the read-only file. So this minus R here that you see here will get rid of the read-only files. All right. So let's move on to the next slide. All right. So here, with this command, we'll show all the file names in a folder and subfolders, excluding the subfolder names. So let's see how that's going to work. All right, so we can see the file names here. We can also see the file names for the hidden file type and read-only file type and the contents of the subfolders. But what is really missing is the subfolder names over here. All right, so we have the subfolder names, uh, like four folder names, hidden, read-only, subfolder one, folder two. As you have noticed, they're all missing here. Okay, so that's how you can get rid of the subfolder names. Let's move on to the next slide. All right, so this command essentially shows you all the file names in a folder and subfolders, excluding the subfolder names and the hidden files. So let's see that in command prompt. All right, so we have the list of file names and the read-only file name without a hidden file here, as can be seen when compared with the previous command that we ran. And we still do have the file names from the rest of the subfolders. All right, so let's go to the next slide. So here in from this slide, we can actually see the command that we can use to show all the file names in a folder and subfolders, excluding the subfolder names and the read-only files. So let's see that in command prompt. All right, so one, two, and three, as can be seen, here are the files here, one, two, and three. And then it's showing the hidden file and it's showing all the subfolder files except the read-only file as can be compared with the previous command that we ran. All right, so let's go to the next slide. This command will actually show you all the file names in a folder and subfolders, excluding the subfolder names, hidden, and read-only files. So let's see how this is going to run in command prompt. All right, so we have the first three files, which can be seen from here, and then we have the subfolders file names from here but it has omitted the hidden and read-only files all right so all right so let's move on to the next slide 
But let's say if you would like to copy the output from this section here onwards, usually what you would do is go to the section, right click on the title bar, edit, and click copy. So this actually copies the value that you have just highlighted in the clipboard. So let's just paste it and just see. Okay, as you can see, the values have been successfully copied, but we won't do that. We won't highlight the section and we won't copy it. Instead, we'll use this clip command to actually copy the values for us. So all you have to do is type in your command in the command prompt and append the pipe symbol, which is located on the backslash key on the keyboard, followed by the word clip. So let's see this in practice. In the following slides, I have actually indicated the proper usage of this and I've actually prepared a summary which you can actually use. Here are all the commands specifying what they do and this will actually copy the values to the clipboard without showing that in command prompt. Let's run the first command and see how this goes. So let's go to command prompt. Let's run the command. Okay, as you can see, it has not shown me anything because I have used the pipe symbol and the clip keyword. The data is actually in my keyboard, so I would like to show that here. I'll clear this, and then I'll paste the data. And as can be seen here, I have the list of all the files and the folder, subfolder names along with the rest of the files. So let us see how we can actually get rid of these file locations and just get the file names. So let's go to the Excel spreadsheet. Let's click on the column one and right click on it and then paste. All right. So once we have these values here, now we just have to do a replace using a specific command and that will actually get rid of the file locations for us. Let's look at the slide that I prepared and the 11th slide also has some more commands. So does the 12th slide. In the 13th slide, here are the directions that you can use to actually get rid of the file location. So we have done these two things here. Now we just need to follow this instruction here. So let's press the control H on the keyboard and just do the replacement as shown here. Let's go to the Excel. Let's hit Control H on the keyboard and hit the star slash keys and then replace it with blank values. Don't enter anything and hit replace all. And that's it. We are done. So here we have the list with the folder names, subfolder names along with the file names. Okay, so now let's see how to get the file names of all the files regardless of whether they are hidden or read only. So in the command prompt, let's enter this slash s slash b slash a minus d. Hit the enter and as we can see here, the three file names in the pyramid folder are located here, are shown here, followed by the hidden file.txt which can be seen here and then we're gonna see that the read-only file is indicated here and the sub 1, 2, 3 and are a part of subfolder 1 and then subfolder 2 has two files and we have the two file names. Let's run the same command with the clip functionality and now let us get rid of the previous data. Let me just delete that. And now let's paste from the clipboard. All right. So let's do the same replacement. Let's hit the control H keys on the keyboard and in the replace tab, enter star or asterisk and forward slash label. And in the replace with section, do not enter anything and hit the replace all. And that's it. That's going to replace all the values. And now you will have only the file names of all the files and folders, regardless of the nesting 
So you can have 10 different subfolders and you can have many other subfolders in it and this will fetch all the values regardless of whether they are hidden files or even read-only files. I hope you guys find this video useful and if you did, feel free to hit the like button, make a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.